back in the bus, please. Oh, please, come on. Come on, back in the bus. Back in the bus. before the sound gets there. is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. A mindless eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil gave him jaws. <laughs> this is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel, Jaws. I just found out that a girl got killed here last week, and you knew it. You knew there was a shark out there. <laughs> you knew it was dangerous. But you let people go swimming anyway. Did you see that? It's all psychological. You yell. 
yell barracuda. Everybody says, huh, what? You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Is it true that most people get attacked by sharks in three feet of water, about 10 feet from the beach? Yeah. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. We're not only gonna have to close the beach, we're gonna have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Bad fish, but I'll catch him and kill him. Did you hear your father out in the water now? This shark, swallow you whole. You're gonna need a bigger boat. That's a 20 footer. 25. Three tons of them. He's coming straight for us. Don't screw it up now. Don't wait for me. Now! Shoot! Shot it! Shot it! Watch the tail! Give him room! I can't swing a run! Oh! Come on, quick! I can't hold it! Hurry! None of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfus, Jaws. See it before you go swimming. Aircraft type? Uh, negative center, uh, no distinct outline. To tell you the truth, the target is rather brilliant. Wait a second, he's heading right for my windshield. The traffic is approaching head on. Alter right and really moving. They're right by us right now. That was really close. 31, do you wish to file a report of any kind of it? I wouldn't know what kind of report to file, sir. This is nuts. What do you want? I just want to know that it's... it's really happening. We recently had a close encounter. A close encounter with something very unusual. Who are you, people? Boys! One, two, three. I've been seeing this shape. Damn it, I know this. I know what this is. This means something. What did you expect to find? An answer. December, 1941, the California coast. The Japanese had just bombed Pearl Harbor. The nation's heroes were on the alert. Look, you guys are Japs up! The dummy's right. California could be next. Where did I shoot this? I don't know! This... It's war. Oh, God. 
a country's honor was at stake. <laughs> the lives of millions would be protected by a brave few. Oh! This is their story. Excuse us, ma'am. From the director of Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Not that way! The most explosive comedy spectacular ever filmed. What the hell do you people think you're doing? <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. Ned Beatty. John Belushi. Lorraine Gann. Murray Hammond. Christopher Lee. Tim Matheson. Toshiro Mifune. Warren Oates. Robert Stack. Treat Williams. I can assure you, there will be no bombs dropped here. Boy, that was fun! Universal Pictures and Columbia Pictures present an 18 production of a Steven Spielberg film. Ah! 1941. Sayonara, sucker! Three thousand years, man has searched for the lost Ark of the Covenant. The Bible speaks of the Ark leveling mountains and laying waste to entire regions. That's something to be taken lightly. No one knows its secrets. Jones, do you realize what the Ark is? It's a transmitter. It's a radio for speaking to God. An army which carries the Ark before it is invincible. The Ark. If it is there, Atanis, then it is something that man was not meant to disturb. It is protected by forces beyond imagination. It is desired above all treasures on earth by those who are good, trust me, and those who are evil. I'll tell you everything. Yes, I know you will. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let it go. Hey, we have no time. If you still want the Ark, it has been loaded onto a truck for Cairo. Raiders of the Lost Ark. A film from Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. is unfolding. And an adventure is beginning. Again. I'm keeping you. In March 2002, Steven Spielberg's masterpiece returns to theaters everywhere. What's he doing? E.T. Phone home. E.T. Phone home. Like you've never experienced it before. With enhanced visual effects. Never before seen footage. And a digitally remastered soundtrack. Next spring, take the journey. What are you waiting? and experience the excitement as E.T. returns home to the big screen for a new generation to discover what the rest of us will never forget. (laughs) 
Steven Spielberg presents the 20th anniversary of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I'll be right here. directors, George Miller, John Landis, Joe Dante, and Steven Spielberg take you to another dimension. Color Purple, an American story for the whole world. It's about life, it's about love, it's about us. You will always remember, Mr. Shook. Old Mr. Nettie. Harple, Squeak, Sophia, and Seely. You will never forget the color purple.
desperate time. A world at war. A boy alone. We're about to complete a great quest. The Holy Grail, Dr. Jones. Oh, rats. Oh. This is it. Look. The shield is the second mark. We found it. Indiana Jones is on the quest of a lifetime. Oh. Oh. But for some adventures, one Jones is not enough. Dad? Junior? Don't call me that, please. Follow me! I know the way! Ah! A race across three continents. And in this sort of race, there's no silver medal for finishing second. Hang on, Dad! We're going in! Into the homeland of the enemy. Nazis. I hate these guys. Our situation has not improved. In his search for the Holy Grail. How dare you kiss me? Are you crazy? Don't go between them! Go between them! Are you crazy? Where's my father? 
in the belly of that steel beast. Dead, Junior! You call this archaeology? The quest for the Grail is not archaeology. It's a race against evil. Germany has declared war on the Jones boys. Those people are trying to kill us. I know, Dad! It's a new experience for me. It happens to me all the time. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Have the adventure of your life. Keeping up with the Joneses. his revenge. Only you can save your children. You must make yourself remember. Remember what? Peter, don't you know who you are? Have to fly. Have to fight. Have to crow. Have to save Maggie. Have to save Jack. Biological attractions so astounding that they'll capture the imagination of the entire planet and extinction <laughs> is a thing of the past. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Are we going to King Kong? None of these attractions are ready yet, of course, but the park will open with the basic tour you're about to take. Hey, look at this. You see something? Dinosaurs and man, two species separated by 65 million years of evolution, just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. How can we possibly have the slightest idea? You feel that? What to expect? Things are failing all over the park. Phones are out too. Gotta go! Universal Pictures presents. I can't get Jurassic Park back online. An adventure 65 million years in the making. Just a delay. 
after all, it is all major theme parks have to raise. When they opened Disneyland in 1956, nothing worked. But John, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists. You sure we're safe? Yes. I must have figured out how to open doors. Jurassic Park. make sure it's known the company's in business. I see that it had a certain panache. That's what I'm good at. Not the work, not the work. The presentation. Kielbasa sausage, cheeses, blugger caviar. Yes. And of course, who could live without German cigarettes? Yeah. As many as you can find. It's more fresh fruit. The real rarities, oranges, lemons, pineapples. I need several boxes of Cuban cigars, yes. the best. And dark on sweetened chocolate, not in the shape of ladyfingers. A chunk of chocolate, big as my hand, a sample of wine tastings. 900, no, make it 10 for Wednesday. All this stuff here goes to Madison's factory. I lost a worker. I expect to be compensated. He's on the list? Yes. Okay, well, let's find him. Stern! 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 It's hard, Stern! Stop the train! He's here! Stop the train! Stop the train! I woke up from a dream this morning. I was broke and sharing a room with 12 people I didn't know. Who will want to start, huh? Do you have any questions, sir? Yeah, why is top down? I'm fucking freezing. What's your name? Please in your pocket. I have to find every rack, bury that hell, burn it. The list is alive. All around its margins lies the copy. stumbled upon site B. And now it's only a matter of time before this lost world is found and pillaged. Hopefully we've kept this island quarantined and contained, but I'm in shock about all this. Wow. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. And later there's running and then screaming. What the hell was that? Go. As fast as you can. I need you to send rescue immediately. Taking dinosaurs off this island is the worst idea in the history of bad ideas. Let's get this movable beast underway. Don't move! What is it? My 
Barbie's very angry. by officers of the survey brig off the coast of Long Island. You can only assume that the charge is murder. We do hereby claim salvage on the high seas of the Spanish ship La Amistad and all her cargo. Your Honor, here are the true owners of these slaves. These slaves, Your Honor, are by rights the property of Spain. You and this young so-called lawyer have proven you know what they are. They're Africans. Congratulations. What you don't know is who they are. This could take us all one long step closer to civil war. Immediately surrender! These goods! Our president has appealed the decision to our Supreme Court. Fighting the lobby! Yeah, you get it! You want to talk about freedom! We have to try the case again. I will call into the past and beg my ancestors to come and help me, for at this moment I am the whole reason they have existed at all. This is the most important case ever come before this court, because what it in fact concerns is freedom, the very nature of man. And the proof is the length to which a man will go to regain it once taken. He will break loose his chains. He will decimate his enemies. He will try and try and try against all odds, against all prejudices. To get home. Dear Mr. Brian Boyd, no doubt by now you have received full information about the untimely death of your son. However, there are some personal details. That Believe I thought, very strongly. No words of mine can ever. He was a fine him. soldier. And regarding the circumstances leading to his death, felt his loss tremendously. Robert's commanding officer's his heroic service to his country. He was a great soldier, and dedicated friend. The grace of God and the aid of your Those son. Those of us I'm alive. Please there. accept my most sincere condolences. Live in our memories. To you, my deepest sympathy. Colonel, I've got something you should know about. Yes. These two men died in Normandy. This one at Omaha Beach. Sean Ryan. This one at Utah. Peter Ryan. This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Daniel Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother is getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. That boy's alive. We we're gonna send somebody to find him. And we we're gonna get him the hell out of there. Some private in the 101st lost three of his brothers and he's got a ticket home. It's not gonna be easy finding one particular soldier in the whole damn war. It's just a name, but if 
finding him so he can go home. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then that's my mission. This is our future. At a time when man has become dependent on robots to satisfy our every need. Man made us better at what we do than was ever humanly possible. Science will create a new order of artificial being. You're a machine. I'm a boy. Impossible. More intelligent, more feeling, and more human than ourselves. Until you were born, robots didn't dream, robots didn't desire unless we told them what to want. Some of us will embrace it. He is only a child. Monica, he's a toy. He's a gift. Others will fear it. They made us too smart, too quick, and too many. That's why they hate us. Stay away from people. Stay away from all people. Only others like you are safe. The humans, they'll stop at nothing. What do we do? We will have to journey towards the moon. Jan, what's coming? Double homicide, one male, one female. Killer's male, white, 40. Set up a perimeter and tell them we're en route. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Give the man his hand. The future can be seen. All we have to run on are the images that they produce. We see what they see. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect. I agree. Murder can be stopped. Tell me exactly what it is you're looking for. Flaws. Did we get any false positives? We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. The fact that you prevent it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. The system can't be wrong. Run! Wait! You say something, Chief? No. You're in a lot of trouble, John. I have a warrant in my pocket that says murder. Don't run. You don't have to chase me. From 20th Century Fox. He set me up. He set me up. And DreamWorks Pictures. Who's the victim? I've never heard of him. But I'm supposed to kill him in less than 36 hours. He's coming here to get her. Tom Cruise. I need your help. Keep contain information. I need to know how to get at it. In a Steven Spielberg film. I have to know. I have to find out what happened in my life. You tell me. Who was it that set this up? I don't know. How about now? On June 21st, everybody runs. I love you. No, it's hard. Minority Report.
Welcome to Miami Mutual Bank. How may I help you? I'd like to cash this check here, and then and I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. <laughs> Are you a real-life pilot? I sure am, little lady. The jump seat is open. It's been a while since I've done this. Which one's the jump seat again? Dr. Connors to the ER. Dr. Connors to the ER. This is irrefutable evidence that the defendant is lying. Special Agent Hanratty, FBI. Hello, Carl. You're gonna get caught. It's like Vegas. The house always wins. Some nuts flying around the country posing as a pilot. Call him the James Bond of the sky. Hello, pusher. This is by far the best date I have ever been on. He's a kid. That's why he doesn't have a record. 30 milligrams of codeine every four hours. Do you concur? I concur. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Concur with what, sir? <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry to have to tell you, your son has fired you checks. I have a payroll check here I'd like to cash. I'm working part-time at the church now. Just tell me how much yours and I'll pay you back. $1.3 million. I'll be choosing eight young ladies to be a part of Pan Am's future stewardess program. South America, Australia, Singapore. These are so perfect, the bank doesn't even know the difference. What do you want? To apologize. You didn't call to apologize, did you? You have no one else to call. I'm looking for your son. I would never give up my son. If you were a father, you'd know. Stop chasing me. I can't stop. It's my job. You see these people staring at you? They keep peeking over their shoulders, wondering where you're going tonight. Where are you going, Frank? Don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Don't bring around a cloud of terrain on my parade. Sir, we're gonna let him get away. Oh, Carl, you let him get away. Nobody had a better brain on my Merry Christmas! Parade. I'm getting close, huh? You will go to prison. You're gonna have to catch me. Please follow me. While you were in the air, there was a military coup in your country. Republic of Carcosia is under new leadership. Carcosia? <laughs> I don't think he gets it. Where do I buy the Nike shoes? I'm going to need the passport also. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. No, Mr. Navorsky. Beyond those doors is American soil. You are not to leave this building. There's a man walking around the terminal in a bathrobe. I think it's CIA. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. That guy doesn't even speak English. I, I, I help you. Do you live nearby? Yes, gate 67. Because we are very particular about punctuality. Did you say gate 67? We don't play for cash. We play for unclaimed items from the lost and found. Wild stallion, you help me to win her heart, and you'll never go hungry again. Officer, my friends say you are a stallion. For what? Like a horse. Stand behind the O line. Opa, this belong you. Thanks. We headed for home. Uh, no, I am delayed. Uh, long time. the kind of woman who can get any guy she wants. Why Victor Navorsky? That's something a guy like you could never understand. You ever feel like you're just living in an airport? Gate 
8.30? We said 8 o'clock. Hello, Dad. Get a hug? Robbie's got a paper, which he's yet to begin. I just gotta type it up. You just gotta start writing it mom. first. Take care of our kids. You got nothing to worry about. That is so weird. The wind is blowing toward the storm. It's okay. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Where is this under? Robbie, you saw the lightning? Yeah, 26 times on Lincoln Avenue. You feel that? Good afternoon. I'm speaking to you live just outside the Olympic Village in Munich, West Germany. At this moment, eight or nine athletes of the Israeli team are being held prisoner. These guerrillas are a group called Black September. The commandos have automatic weapons on the hostages. A deal had been made. We now the Israelis have disappeared. Massive security force. in front of the Arabs. <laughs> civilization finds it necessary to negotiate compromises with its own values. We want to ask you, will you undertake a mission? You will have to leave the country and your family? I can't live with refusing this. We have 11 Palestinian names. Each had a hand in planning Munich. You're going to kill them, one by one. We deposit money into a box that doesn't exist. 200,000 for one name. Am I alone? You'll have four others. They know useful things like documents, cars, clean up. He gets in the bed, his weight arms the device. I give the signal by switching off the light. It's strange. You think of oneself as an assassin. Think of yourself as something else, then. What's wrong? It should have exploded by now. We found three more names for you. You know how many laws we've broken? You take up the phone. We hit the remote. Hello. Hello. We're supposed to be righteous. I lose that. That's that's my soul. Dear Papa, don't forget my voice. You think you can outrun your fears, your doubts? Legend says that a crystal skull was stolen from a mythical lost city in the Amazon, supposedly built out of solid gold. 
guarded by the living dead. Whoever returns the skull to the city temple will be given control over its power. You will help us find it. A simple yes will do. We will do this old-fashioned way. Put your hands down, will you? You're embarrassing us. Don't touch anything. Ago. Secure the cargo. A power that could have changed the course of history was lost. Generations have searched for it. Snowy, look at this. It was long claimed the ship was carrying a secret cargo. But no one has found a clue. Until now. The model ship conceals a clue to one of the greatest secrets in all history. I'm warning you. Get out where you still can. These people do not play nice. I will find that ship, with or without your help. Thanks. I'm Tintin, by the way. Haddock. Archibald Haddock. Someone's locked the door. The key, Snowy. Not the sandwich. The keys. How could you let them escape? If Sakharin finds the ship before we do, it's over. This isn't just a ship. He wants vengeance. And then, look. This may sound crazy, but I've got a plan. Excellent. Did you hit anything? Oh, dear. You looked a little cold, so I lit a wee fire. In a boat? Well, this is a fine mess. I will contend! It's a horse they find wandering about in no man's land. What kind of an horse? A miraculous kind of an horse, be my guess. Is at war! We are at war! 
And if I can, I'll return him to your care. He's mine also. <laughs> Look down. You have to look forward, or you'll never get home. It is an honor to ride beside you. Let every man make himself and his country proud. Be brave. Be brave. We here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. We can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. It's either the amendment or this Confederate peace. You cannot have both. How many hundreds of thousands have died during your administration? Congress must never declare equal those whom God created unequal. Leave the Constitution alone. We are stepped out upon the world stage now with the fate of human dignity in our hands. Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment now, now, now. Abraham Lincoln has asked us to work with him to accomplish the death of slavery. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. This fight is for the United States of America. Do we choose to be born, or are we fitted to the times we're born into? Well, I don't know about myself. You may be. This settles the fate for all coming time. Not only of the millions now in bondage, but of unborn millions to come. Shall we stop this bleeding? You've been selected for a mission which you are not to discuss with anyone outside of this room. We are engaged in a war with the Soviet Union. This war does not for the moment involve men at arms. It involves information. Important has come up. We've got a Soviet spy. But there's a wrinkle. They got our spy pilot. Or the head full of classified information. The Russians want their man back before he cracks. We want you to negotiate the swap. I'm an insurance lawyer. I'm not sure I want to pick that up. Are you good at what you do? This will be a first for the both of us. You should be careful. I'm talking to you about the security of your country. Why aren't we hanging him? He's a spy! 
You're asking me to violate the Constitution. Do you know how people will look at us? The family of a man trying to free a traitor? Everyone deserves a defense. Every person matters. Where do they want this negotiation? East Berlin. Just tell me that you're not going to be in any danger. I don't even care if it's the truth. Give me something to hold on to. We need to have the conversation our governments can't. People in my country consider this an act of war. You can call it what you want. Let's be clear. Nobody is safe. We're in a battle for civilization. The Constitution is what makes us Americans. Shouldn't we show our enemy who we are? Things have started to fall apart. Is this your position or your government's? Is there any outcome here where I'm not either detained or shot? Do we need to worry about you? No. What's the move when you don't know what the game is? The next mistake our countries make could be the last one. It was the witching hour when the boogeyman comes out. The girls say the witching hour arrives at midnight. I think it comes at three in the morning when I'm the only one left awake, like now. Joint country. Oh, my. Why did you take me? Because I hear your lonely heart. I was hearing all the secret whisperings of the world. Run, Sophie. Hide. Does you have any super? <laughs> So, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Oh, dear, I don't like hypothetical questions. Well, I don't think you're gonna like the real one, either. Do you have the papers? Not yet. This is a devastating security breach that was leaked out of the Pentagon. The most highly classified documents of the war. The Times says 7,000 pages detailing how the White House has been lying about the Vietnam War for 30 years. The way they lied, those days have to be over. Okay, people are concerned about having a woman in charge of the paper, that she doesn't have the resolve to make the tough choices. Thank you, Arthur, for your frankness. Let's do our jobs. Find those pages. We're talking about exposing years of government secrets. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? Ben, I might have something. It must be precious cargo. It's just government secrets. The 
New York Times was barred from publishing any more classified documents dealing with the Vietnam War. If you publish, we'll be at the Supreme Court next week. Meaning? Well, we could all go to prison. To make this decision, to risk her fortune and the company that's been her entire life, well, I think that's brave. If the government wins, the Washington Post will cease to exist. If we don't hold them accountable, who will? We can't hold them accountable if we don't have a newspaper. Nixon will muster the full power of the presidency, and if there's a way to destroy you, by God, he'll find it. I'm asking your advice, Bob, not your permission. But you can't do this. The legacy of the company is at stake. What will happen if we don't publish? We will lose. The country will lose. What are you going to do, Mrs. Graham? My name is Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid, my mom too. And I ended up here. Sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. Except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello, if you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. And it's nothing less than a war. We're in control of the future. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. looks just like the one next to it and the one next to that and the one next to that a young couple live in it give Ken a kiss <laughs> you are so with their three children <laughs> and something more Remember last night? Do you remember when you woke up and you said yeah. you're here? Uh-huh. Well, who did you meet? Who's here? TV people. Something's funny going on here next door. 
something, uh... We were wondering if maybe you had experienced any disturbances lately. What kind of disturbances? <laughs> is a frightening new threshold into a world within our own. Its form is revealed. What is it? Its focus is clear. And the games are over. It knows what scares you. Spielberg presents The Goonies, a Richard Donner film. Hey, let's go to the map. Whoa, do you guys realize what we could do? I don't want to go on any more of your crazy Goonie adventures. Meet Mikey. I gotta go fast. Brand. Andy. Shame, shame. Oh, come on, Brand. It's slip for the tongue. That's disgusting. No, I can't even look. Mouth. Stephanie, Data, Boy Bango! Ow! Guys, isn't that neat? And Chunk. Slopped. They call themselves the Goonies. They've stumbled onto a legend, but they're not alone. Chunk, I hope that was your stomach. No. Like Discover what they uncover. Rubies and emeralds and diamonds. The lost map. Oh, the start of the tunnel. The secret caves. Hidden clues. The treacherous traps. Hello, Sheriff. I'm at the Lighthouse Lounge. And I want to, and I want to report a oh, murder. Just like that last prank about all those little creatures that multiply when you throw water on them. Take the oath. Join the adventure as Steven Spielberg presents The Goonies, a Richard Donner film. Miss Joan Crawford, Ossie Davis, Richard Kiley, Roddy McDowell, and Barry Sullivan. Starring in the Night Gallery. 
I'm Rod Serling. I would like to invite you to join me for the telling of three stories represented in this gallery by these paintings to be displayed here for the first time. Each is a collector's item in its own way, not because of any special artistic quality, but because each captures on a canvas, suspends in time and space, a frozen moment in a nightmare. My abiding concern, Doctor, and my singular preoccupation is myself. 11 hours of 12, fewer or more, it makes no difference. I want to see something. Trees, concrete, buildings, grass, airplanes, colors! Alles in der Welt, Deutschland, Deutschland, überall, alles überall. You look here, old man. Death is final. Death is it. I think not, Mr. Jeremy. I think there are things stronger than death and more lasting than the grave. The portafoy? I think hate is stronger than death, Mr. Jeremy. And I think you're beginning to realize that. <laughs> Join me for the unveiling at the Night Gallery. Get you something? No, no, thank you. The milk will do fine. Is Glenn spending the night? No, dear. Why not? I'm lonely for Glenn. I know, dear, but Glenn's been through a great deal today. He needs to rest now. Why don't you just go to your room and dial the service? They'll send you a companion. If you'll pour me another glass, I'll go to my room. No, dear, you've had enough. Now, why don't you just go to your room? Sandra will help you. Colombo Murder by the Book Starring Peter Falk, Jack Cassidy, and Martin Milner. This will be the last time that I can Jimmy? Look at it this way, Mrs. Ferris. Maybe he isn't dead. Now, there's no body, no blood. No, he was shot! A classic feature-length Columbo, directed by Steven Spielberg. What, were you visiting friends in San Diego? He has a place there, a cabin. Oh, away for the weekend. Gee, that's nice. Hmm. This man, Franklin, took your husband's life. Can Columbo solve what just might be the perfect crime? How much for your silence? $15,000. Say, what kind of nightlife do you have around here? Nightlife? None. It's such a beautiful night, we should row out to the center of the lake and go for a swim. The first one, the clever one, that wasn't yours. Oh, I'm beginning to like you. A first-rate murder mystery, written by Stephen Bochco of L.A. Law and Hill Street Blues fame. I want to leave this place. Oh, I want to leave this place. So 
some things are more powerful than pentacles. Like love. It's a powerful force, Marjorie. He said we were mocking the devil, especially. You know, I thought I heard a baby crying. I had a devil in the house. Thank you.